Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me. For joining me again. Let's see what's coming for you in the near future. Two cards. We have the Strength card. Leo Energy. You could be on the Cancer Leo cusp. We have the World. Wow, you have two majors. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Capricorn Energy. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Oh, you got something coming your way. It's big too. This is usually communication, and this equates to eight days. But it could also be Sagittarius season, Capricorn season. Um, hmm. Y'all, so how do we process this? <laughs> you have a lot of big... This is like the floodgates opening for you. This is what they call good overwhelm. This is perfect timing. This is gaining momentum. Something big is happening. Um, what it is, I don't know. Give me a second, y'all. So, um, it feels like news. I hear good news. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. I feel like some somebody could be a Libra reaching out to you, could be a, a Sagittarius. And I don't necessarily mean for love. It could be. But I feel like this is more about like business or some kind of opportunity. Somebody could be an influencer content creator the strength card in the world this is influence and this is the internet so somebody could use the internet to influence other people you're getting communication and it's good news and it's coming and actually could be a lot of different opportunities here and whatever this is it's going to give you this a sense this sense of a like reaching a milestone this is an accomplishment this is this is contentment this is success this is wish fulfillment this is like everything it says completion fulfillment wholeness celebration success is at hand and the cycle has been accomplished triumph and achievement and it does represent the internet so there's some kind of communication coming towards you re rather quickly like i said this is eight days for some of you it's not gonna be for everybody but um i feel like before the year is out something maybe that you set in motion in uh, leo season let's see what it is some of you could be um Some of you could have gone on a fitness journey, maybe in Leo season. Maybe you started to take better care of your health. You could be reaching a milestone, like hitting your um, weight goal or something like that. That's on a smaller scale. That's not going to be everybody's story. But this is when a lot of opportunities are coming to you all at once. I call it the floodgates opening. So we have the six of swords here. Wow. So this is your spirit guide showing up. I feel like you're being applauded for staying strong. Okay. The strength card is the number seven, and it comes before the chariot. The chariot is number eight, and it talks about moving on. For some of you, it could be a love situation that you walked away from. It could have been something traumatic. could have involved an Aquarius. It didn't have to, but it could have involved an Aquarius or a Gemini for some of you. Wow, we got the eight of wands again with the hangman. There's some kind of good news I feel like you're waiting for that's coming to you. And somebody taught you a lesson here. Some of you could be like on the tail end of walking away from something that's really not good for you. The strength card talks about having self-control and being able to tell somebody no if you need to. Somebody underestimated how strong you were because you showed them your more vulnerable side and they took it as a weakness. And your spirit guides are here to help you to move to karma waters. This is smooth sailing. The worst part of a situation has already ended. You've closed out a cycle. What is the cycle you closed out? Ace of Swords, you cut somebody off. It'll be a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini. You told somebody the truth and you cut them off. Well, you got clarity that it was time for you to close the cycle with someone. Others of you, you're getting communication. This is another card of communication and it equates to one week. And this is eight days. So for some of y'all, y'all got something good happening. This could even be up to six weeks for some of you. But a lot of you over the next week, seven to eight days, you're getting some kind of good news online. And I feel like it's because you passed a spiritual test. Like spirit was trying to see if you could resist something here and you passed. Yep, you passed. You got the world again. Wow. So you passed with flying colors. Wow. Yeah, the four of wands. You rejected somebody. We keep talking about this. This four of cups keeps coming out and that is your energy. And this person is still watching you. 
Some of you have been waiting for some news to come in. There's the chariot. You've been waiting for some news to come in. It could involve you having to move or relocate or something. You have good news coming your way. Yeah, you ended things with somebody. Could be a strong Scorpio. And now you found your happiness. This is you being content and happy by yourself. You cut off somebody that could have been playing games with you. It could be a Scorpio. Maybe over the last seven months. The King of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, oh, you got the King, Queen of Cups here. When you're minding your business, for those of you who are looking for love, you're going to be minding your business and you're going to meet the love of your life. And it feels like there could be another water sign. Could be a Virgo as well. Let's get a piece of advice for you. But look for some good news over the next, I would say one week to six weeks for sure. It definitely be in Sagittarius season. Where are we now? We are in, we are at the end. Where are we? The 19th of September. So, October, November. So, sometime maybe in November at the latest. For some of you, it'll be sooner than that. What's the advice for Cancer Spirit? Advice for my Cancerians. Advice for Cancer. We have dance it out. Okay, somebody could love to dance, love music. It says, I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Some of you could have started dancing as a, a way to lose weight. Um, we have, uh, whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will put, uh, play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel as the stress or heaviness begins to ease out of my body. So Spirit is telling you to move your body through music, through dance, um, to release tension and then we have intentions. Hmm. So this is going from the 9th to the 10th on the calendar. I don't know if y'all can see that they're moving the number 9. So the date is the 10th. So something could be significant about the 9th or the 10th. That could be your birthday or something is happening on the 9th or the 10th of one of these months. I feel like before the year is out. So that could be either October, November, or December. It says today is a fresh start. No matter how my day was yesterday, I can make today whatever I want. My intention for the day is, and then you write down whatever it is that you want it to be. Um, and it says, write down your intention and take this card behind your door so you may remember as you leave your house. So set your intentions, especially before you walk out the door. I say you should set your intentions before you go to bed and when you first wake up. Because that's when your mind is still kind of programmable because you're coming out of that sleep state. Anybody that's into manifestation knows that. Y'all probably already know that. I'm, I find most people who are into tarot are also into the law of attraction and other spiritual practices. So if you don't know that, that's what you can do. Just set your intentions. Even if you want to do the thing, sticking it behind the door, that's fine too. That's what I'm seeing for you. I feel like you're getting good news. And I feel like it's because you released someone. Somebody could have been blocking your blessings. They had somebody in your energy that was, like I told y'all the other day, har harvesting your energy. And um, once you free yourself from them, or once you did, that's what's going to open these floodgates for you. All right, y'all. Like the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.